Let's look at ways in PowerPoint to promote and demote bullets, which actually just means to increase and decrease the indentation. Let's pretend that we have here a PowerPoint slide <coughs> that, whoopsie, I closed it. We have a PowerPoint slide that we want to add some bullets to. If you look carefully, you can see I have one little bullet there ready to start typing. It won't show up until I start typing. So I'm going to type a line, and to get the next bullet, I can type another line. And as long as I keep typing and pressing the Enter key, I'll get bullets at that level. There are two ways to get bullets at a promoted level or an indented level. Uh, let me go down to this new one. And if you look down on your keyboard, I'm going to press the Tab key, T-A-B, Tab key, which is on the left side of the keyboard. And that will actually hop over a little bit so I can type another line. And as usual, every time I press the Enter key, it will give me another bullet at that same level. If I wanted to indent again, let me show you the other way to do it. And uh, I don't have a scroll wheel on this mouse. So if you look up at the top, under the word Review, there are two left and right arrows with text beside them. That's Promote and Demote. And those two buttons, if I click that button, I'm holding my mouse here so you can see. If I click that, it will move me over one more notch so I can type. And then when I want to go back a level, I can use two methods. One would be that demote, decrease, decrease level. That would be one way. And the other way would be, if you look down at your keyboard, Press and hold the Shift key, and then press Tab. That would be like a capital shift, if you think about it, capital shift. And that will also move you back a level. And then if I wanted to go back one more level, I can press Shift, Tab again. If you look at the Tab key, you'll see that it has a left arrow for the Shift. And so that's the way you can go forward and backward in your PowerPoint when you're using bullets.